Hey guys, Yvonne here, and in this video, I wanna show you how to create Pinterest ads from start to finish so that your ads look something like this, where it's a pin and it says promoted by you right below it. Here is another example, promoted by cooperators, promoted by Rogers. If you just look around, you'll see tons of them promoted by Savior Ontario. So lots and lots of opportunities here for people to see your ads, and you can also show your ads under certain keywords. So for example, if you type in keto diet, you can have your pins show up here for specific search terms. So lots of opportunities and Pinterest has a huge user base. So if you look at some of the stats here, they have nearly 460 million people. They are fourth in the most popular social media sites in the US. And if you have a product that is specifically tailored for women, Pinterest will be a great opportunity for that. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to create these ads. Before we get into it guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this, helping you make money online. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna go over here into my Pinterest account and I assume that you already have a Pinterest page and some pins. If you don't, please check out the previous video on how to set up your Pinterest account. I will link it in the description and there should be a little card that's gonna show up in the top right of the YouTube screen. So for the purpose of this video, we'll be using this page and we're gonna be trying to promote this pin right here, which is a simple keto diet recipes. Now, word of advice, if you are in the weight loss niche, you are not allowed to mention anything to do with weight loss. Pinterest banned those sorts of ads a few months ago. So for example, if you say anything like, why keto diet, weight loss, that is not allowed. You're not allowed to mention anything to do with weight loss, it is considered body shaming, not allowed on Pinterest. So. In this case, we're just gonna be promoting a simple, you know, cookbook recipes, so that's okay. So, to create our ads, what we're gonna do is over here in the top left, we'll click on ads, and we're gonna click on create ad. And we can probably close out of that now, just so we have one nice tab there. And so, we're just gonna go from top to bottom. So, the first thing here we have to do is choose a campaign objective. So, this will determine the types of ad formats available and how you bid in the auction. So depending on what your goal is, this is what you would set. So if you want to just build awareness, for example, and you're not necessarily interested in clicks, you just wanna get your brand out there, show it to as many people as possible, you would go with brand awareness. If you have a video that you wanna promote, you would go with video views. If you're interested in getting clicks to your website on the pin, you would go with consideration. Once you start getting some conversion data after you set up conversion tracking, which I'll cover in a separate video, you will select this option. And of course, if you have a product inventory with a variety of products, you would go with this option over here. So we're gonna go with consideration or traffic for now, and we're gonna scroll down. So the first thing here we have to do is enter a campaign name. So for the campaign name, we could say, this is our custom keto diet, and we could just say YT for YouTube. Campaign status, you can either immediately activate the ads as soon as they're approved, or you can pause them if you want to maybe change some things or still think about possible variations and so on. So we're of course gonna click on active. And we're gonna scroll down. For the campaign budget, again, you can set here how much you wanna spend per day or in a lifetime. So let's suppose you don't wanna spend more than $100 in total on this campaign, you would select lifetime. Or you could be okay with, for example, spending $1 a day on this campaign. I believe the minimum is $1 per day, so you can't do any less than that. I do suggest a higher budget though, because obviously the higher you spend, the faster you'll, you'll get results. So I'm gonna go with $10 here for now. You can also choose a specific date that you wanna run the campaign. We're just gonna go ahead and click on run continuously so that as soon as our campaign is approved, it will keep running until we actively pause it, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to pause it once we actually set up the entire campaign. So now that we've done all that, we're gonna click continue and this is gonna be our targeting, okay? So this is where we're gonna choose our interests, our keywords, our demographics, all things like that. So we're gonna leave this ad group name blank for now. We will come back to it once we decide who exactly we wanna target. So the first thing here we have to do is select a strategy. Do we wanna reconnect with users or find new customers? So we don't have a remarketing list yet. That is what this is. It's kind of like if you create an audience from people that already visited your website or parts of your website, you could select specific people to promote to. We don't have that, we're starting with cold traffic. So we're gonna click here, find new customers. And again, we don't have any audience lists yet. Maybe I'll cover that in a separate video. But for now, we're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna select the interests and keywords that we wanna target so that these people will see our ads. So if we click here, 
you can choose specific interests. So this just basically targets people that generally interact with pins related to these fields. So in our case, we're promoting a custom keto diet recipe book. So maybe we want to type in either diet and we can go through some of these options here. For example, healthy recipes, healthy recipes, healthy recipes, or we can be more specific and we can type in keto diet and maybe meal planning, maybe ketogenic diet. So we're targeting all these different options here. These are all the interests that we're going with. And if you go into selected, you will see everything that you picked. And you can click on these little arrows here and you'll see even the more detailed options that were selected. But that is not all. You don't have to only go by interest. You can also go by keyword. So when somebody types something in to the search bar at the top, as I showed you before, you can have your pins show up there. So you would write your pins here. Uh, but you could also do a little bit of research. So for example, keto diet recipes, we can type that in, we could say enter, and we can get some ideas here and the monthly searches. So for example, keto recipes easy, maybe diet recipes, maybe keto dinner recipes, things like that, and we can just add them in here on the left-hand side. Now you could add broad match keywords, which means that as long as somebody types in anything remotely similar to the keywords you have here, this is one keyword, two keyword, three keyword, your pins will show up. You can have phrase match keyword, which happens if you put these two quotation marks before and after your keyword. And this will make it so that the words that you have here in your keyword must be present for your ads to show up. So you could have words before and after the phrase match, but as long as this is in the search term of what the user types in, your pins will show up. And you could also have exact, which you can do by adding square brackets before and after the keyword. Oops, wrong bracket like that. And what this means is that somebody has to type this in exactly in order for your pin to show up. So you can play around with this depending on how strict you want to be, what your budget is and what niche you're in. If you have a little bit of a higher budget, you can go with broad and just experiment and see different variations of keywords that people are typing in to see your ads. And you can also add negative keywords. I'm not gonna get into too much detail here, but let's suppose for example, you wanna avoid the key phrase free because you're not giving out free recipes. Let's suppose it's something you pay for. So then what you could do is you could say minus free. And if you put the little quotation marks here, as long as the word free is anywhere in the search term that the user writes in, your pins will not be shown to that user. So basically it's a way to eliminate users that are searching for these specific things, whether it's free, whether it's cheap, you know, whatever it is you can come up with. So let's suppose we also don't want people typing in cheap. Let's suppose our product is higher quality, or let's suppose our product is cheap and we don't want to give the wrong idea. We don't want to pay for these clicks that people are going to be doing for people typing in, for example, expensive recipes or whatever it is you're selling. So that is it for the interests and the targeting. You can also see your potential audience size. So as of right now, we're reaching close to 4 million people. So a huge number of people, and this number is closer to the middle. So it's not too narrow, not too broad just where you want it to be even a little bit on the narrow side is good so this is a good number you could also target specific demographics so if we click here you can specify the gender you can specify the ages so if you click here you can select your specific age group you can choose your location so you can choose all canada or you can choose in other places as well so we can go down here we can select let's say Australia, and let's say United States for now. And so now our target audience is getting to be quite broad, and that is just simply because we added a lot of different keywords. So normally what I do suggest you actually do is you stick to maybe one interest group at a time per ad group, because that way you will be able to tell exactly where your sales came from. So normally what I would do, for example, is I would deselect that. And we can go over here and we can see what else we picked. Let's see, maybe we can remove that. Maybe remove that and I might have removed too much. So let's come back here. Let's say recipes. Nope. Let's say diet recipes to be more specific. And for example, we want to target this healthy food. Okay. So now we're closer to the middle, which is fine. And then what I like to do, what we, what I forgot to do is to take this here, copy it and paste it as the ad group name so that we will know what this ad group is about. And then we also have keywords, right? So we can put a little double slash there or whatever you want to do. And we could just add the idea of these keywords. So keto recipes, basically. So we can say keto recipes keywords. And this way with just one look at this ad group, we know exactly what this is. 
So later on, once we do testing and once we test different interest groups and different keywords against one another, we'll be able to tell with just one glance what each ad group contains. So we can see which resulted in the most sales without actually having to click on anything, all right? So that's kind of why I waited to add this ad group. So that looks good. We have a good audience here. Uh, demographics. Two more things we didn't do here were the languages and the devices. So the languages, keep in mind, this does not translate the language of your pins or anything like that. What it does is show your ads to people that speak a certain language. So in our case, our pin is in English. So maybe we want to show our ads to English speakers, especially because our target audience is Australia and United States, which both speak English as the primary language. You can also choose your devices. So you can show your ads on old devices or you can choose specific ones. So depending on you and your product, if you have something that's better suited to an iPad, for example, you would just go with iPad. Or if you just want to do desktop, you can select all of these options and you can say show my ads only on desktop. We're going to leave all these on for now as an example, but this is up to you and you would have to understand your specific product. Lastly here we have placement. So oops, and it scrolled us down. So we'd have to scroll up here again. So you could show your ads when someone is browsing their newsfeed. You could show your ads when someone is searching for specific keywords or you can do everything, which is a good option if you want to just test and see how well your ads are doing. So we're going to leave it like this. We're going to scroll down to budget and schedule. So our daily budget is $10. So we can just review that. And if we are still good with that, we can just proceed and then optimization and delivery. So you could either let Pinterest decide how much you're paying per click, which can get quite costly, or you can set a maximum cost per click you're willing to pay. I believe the minimum is 13 cents. So if you put 10 cents here, the minimum I believe is 13. So the minimum you can pay for every click is 13 cents. So that's gonna be the maximum for every click. And if Pinterest decides that, for example, you can get a click for 20 cents, you will just not get that click. Whereas with the automatic option here, where Pinterest will try to get you as many clicks as possible, no matter the price. So if you're just starting out, or if you're on a tight budget, I would suggest setting a maximum amount so you don't go bankrupt in your first hour. So the next part is where you're gonna actually select your pin. So you could create your pin, like I said, but it is just easier if you could already create it. That way it doesn't interrupt your whole process here. So if anything happens, it's just much easier to just select a completed pin, kind of do it step by step. So in our case, like I said, we're gonna be promoting the recipes here. So we're just gonna select it and that is it. We're gonna click publish. And we're going to give it a second. So this is our campaign right here, custom keto diet YouTube. It is active, but it will go under review for you. So I'm going to pause it here. And what we can do is if you click on it here, you will see here's the ad group name. So once you start split testing different options, right? What you can do is you can click here, you can duplicate and you can try out something else. You'll be able to see right off the bat what this is and how it compares against anything else. You can click on ads and you can see what the pin looks like. You can click here to see the exact pin. So this is basically how you would navigate this system here. If you click on ad groups, you can also select it. You can click edit here to edit it and you can come back here and change anything you want to. Now we're going to go back and let me just quickly show you how to duplicate this. So if you duplicate this ad group, you can say same campaign, you can say one copy, that's fine. And then now that it's duplicated, all you're going to do is you can come back in here and let's say you want to change something around. Let's say you want to add different interests. So instead of this one, we're going to deselect it we're going to try something else. So we're going to say, for example, ketogenic diet this time. So now we can select this. I'm going to copy it, control C. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste it. And so now with one glance, I know the difference between all these different ad groups that I'm testing. So we can scroll down. It's going to be the same one. We're going to click review copies. We're going to say create ad group. And now under ad groups, let's go back to campaigns and let's select this specific campaign you see the two different ad groups and you will be able to see how well they do. You'll be able to see the clicks, impressions, CTR, and so on. And if you set up conversion tracking, you will also be able to see that. So that is it for this video, guys. That is how you create Pinterest ads from start to finish. If you enjoyed this video, definitely take a look at my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Mana, where I have over 400 videos with free content teaching you how to make money online and going over paid ad networks such as Pinterest, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Microsoft Ads. I also have very detailed and comprehensive courses on my website at evonmana.com slash old courses where I cover Google Ads, Microsoft Ads, and Facebook Ads in very thorough detail as well as teach you how to make money online with ClickBank using Microsoft and Google Ads. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.